뭐라고? 뭐라고? What does it mean? Today, on one Korean word a day here at Te Hango, we're going to study about the word. 뭐. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Te Hango. 175. Word number 175. Bo. Mo. Sometimes this is pronounced as abrupt. Bo. Bo. The meaning of the word mo or bo is what? This is used to ask or to form interrogative sentences. How do we write the word bo or mo? First, we need to draw a meum character followed by an u character followed by an o character. You would notice the wo sound is formed by the combination of the u and o sound. We just have to combine this to form the hangul of the word bo. Now let's try to look into this example sentence or interrogative sentence. It says, What did you say? The Korean translation of this is 뭐라고? Again, in Korean, it's 뭐라고? Or 뭐라고? The 뭐 or 뭐 part is our word for today and we know that it means what. If we add 라고 at the ending of it, it will become 뭐라고. And since 라고 means it is, 뭐라고 will mean what it is. Take note that this is a question or an interrogative sentence. Although literally, morago means what it is, this is also used to ask, what did you say? So when you hear Koreans say, morago, it's the same as asking, what did you say? Or what it is? So looking back to this, which is flashed the beginning of the video, we already know by now that the meaning of the phrase or the word Morago, or sometimes morago, is simply, what did you say? And with that, you've just learned, bo or mo. Now, let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 165 to 174. But don't forget, our word for today is word number 175. Wo, which means what? Word number 174 is Dega. And this is a pronoun which means I or me. Word number 173 is Hube, which means junior or someone younger in terms of experience. Word number 172 is Tonbe which means senior or someone older in terms of experience. Word number 171 is Andre, and this is used to say no or no way in an informal manner. Word number 170 is Kol, which means deal. Word number 169 is 좋아요, and this is used to say, I like you. Word number 168 is 나도, which means, me too. Word number 167 is 아기, and this is the Korean noun for a baby or a young human. Word number 166 is onuldo, which means today too. And the last for our review is word number 165, torawa, which means come back. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hango.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 55. Boyeo or Boyeo. Again, our word for today is Moeo or Boyeo, and this is used to ask, What is it? How do we write Boeo in Hangul? This is composed of three syllables. For the first syllable, mo, we need to draw first a meum character followed by an u character followed by an o character. For the second syllable, ye, we need to draw first a placeholder yang followed by the ye character. And for the last syllable, yo, we need to draw a placeholder yang followed by the yo character itself. Now let's try looking at this example question. It says, irum poeyo. Or, irumi poeyo. Irum means name, and poeyo is our word for today, and it is used to ask, what is it? So, when we say, irum poeyo, or irumi poeyo, it's the same as saying, what is your name in Korean? And with that, you've just learned, poeyo. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, our previous 10 words are words number 45 to 54. But don't forget our word for today, word number 55, boyeo, and this is used to ask, what is it? The first word for our review is irim, and this is used to say name in Korean. Next word is manada. This is a verb which means to meet. Next word is achim. This is a Korean term for morning. Next word is sukohaseo, and this is used to say keep up the good work in Korean. Next word is chonmaneo. And this is used to say, you're welcome, in Korean. Next word is opsoyo. And this is used to say, I don't have or there isn't. The next word for our reviews is soyo. And this is used to say, I have or there is. Next word for our review is chongmal. And this is used to say, really or very much. Next word is miane or piane, and this is used to say, I'm sorry. And the last word for our review is chip. This is the Korean term for home. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.